Hi everyone, Georgia from Longevity here. With 2020 coming to a close, which I think quite frankly we're all very happy about, a lot of us are starting to think about our New Year's resolution. So I just wanted to talk quickly about setting SMART goals. Um, you may have heard the acronym before, but essentially what it's going to do is show you the processes behind achieving your big ambiguous goal and really help you stay on track as well. So SMART stands for S, specific, which means setting a really specific goal. This is where we want to stay clear of the ambiguity. Um, M for measurable, so having an exact unit that we can measure. For example, if we're aiming to meet the physical activity guidelines, measuring how many minutes of aerobic activity we're doing a week. Um, a for achievable, so it might be a good idea to, to um, consult your exercise physiologist on this one as we can certainly um, point you in the right direction as to, for example, how much weight is a realistic amount to lose. Um, R stands for realistic. So again, if we go back to the physical activity guidelines, if you're quite inactive at the moment, probably don't want to set a goal to be doing a marathon in six months. Uh, so it's all about taking small steps and T is timely. So really uh, sticking to a set time frame and giving yourself a really specific start and end point. Um, if you follow these kind of steps, you're going to be much more likely to achieve your goals. So happy goal setting.